Grom's warship flies up right over Reefside High School, where the Dino Thunder Rangers, Trent included, are chilling out. Grom's plan is to screw over the space-time continuum by conquering Earth in the past. Back in the future, uh, present, whatever, SPD headquarters. Kruger says they're going to follow Grum back, but because they can't leave the planet undefended, he's only sending Jack, Bridge, and Z. The Dino Rangers run into Zeltrax and a squad of Tyranodrones, confirming that this takes place before Mesagog's final defeat. But Zeltrax and the drones are taken by Grum. SPD arrives in the past and land in front of the Dino Rangers. They explain the situation to them while Zeltrax is recruited by Grum to help him eliminate the Rangers. They tell the Dino Rangers to stay out of it, but since they're in the Dino Thunder turf now, they're not taking no for an answer. With the risk of the wormhole closing, the remaining SPD Rangers decide to follow them in and warn the others. We cut to Tommy, or rather someone doing an impersonation of Tommy's voice, fighting Zeltrax. The two teams are surrounded by Tyranodrones, monsters, and crybots, but fortunately, it's time. Ready! Ready! SPD, emergency! Space Patrol Delta! Yeah! Not bad. Check this out. Ready! Ready! Dino Thunder, power up! Ah. The remaining SPD Rangers arrive, and the full teams fight off the circle of enemies. Wormhole makes an interesting companion piece to history. I hesitate to call one or the other better, because both have positives and negatives. Neither are really better in the character development, but I admit I like the fights in Wormhole a lot more. There's more martial arts work in play, and just having the full teams together is a major plus. In addition, the Rangers aren't fighting in their advanced forms for most of the fight. It's your basic level spandex fight until the end with the Red Rangers battleized. Oh, and one more positive, this is the only team-up fight in Disney where they aren't in a quarry. It's a field this time, and it really, really helps it stand out. According to Jason David Frank in 2008, he was never contacted about appearing in Wormhole, though I would guess it probably would be because on top of the other guest stars, flying him back to New Zealand would have put the show far over budget. And hey, it's just like Dino Thunder. He only appears morphed for a good chunk of it. Grom at first doesn't care if the wormhole closes, but then Mora reminds him that at this point in time, he hasn't conquered as much of the galaxy as he has in 2025, meaning he'll have to reconquer everything. The two ranger teams finish things off with their combined weapon blasters set to their theme songs, and it's a nice touch. The teams make their farewells and their memories are erased again, though this time Kruger weirdly erases the SPD rangers' memory of it as well, himself included. Why? Whatever. <laughs>